Joe Scarborough was interviewing the big new Brzezinski, the man who is, of course, the father of Mika Brzezinski, who is the co-host of Morning Joe with Joe Scarborough. And that is what makes this awkward and uncomfortable exchange even more delicious. Man, the big Z is not having Scarborough. Not interested in what Scarborough had to sell here. You're going to hear Brzezinski first, who is, of course, uh, in the Carter administration, absolutely critical player there, uh, and uh, involved in foreign policy deeply, uh, telling Joe Scarborough what he does not know. So let's watch and have fun. The problem is that this conflict has lasted for years, and the United States has been largely passive. So the right question is not what do we do when things break down. The right question is what do we do to avoid a breakdown by being engaged seriously in the peace process. And for the last eight years we haven't been. And that's why we have the mess like we have right now in our hands. You, you, you can't blame what is happening in Israel right now on the Bush administration. Yes, you can. No, you no. can't. Well, you, no, you, let's go back to 2000, Dr. Brzezinski. You and I both know Bill Clinton gave Arafat and the Palestinians everything you know, you they have could have won. Such a stunningly superficial knowledge of what went on that it's almost embarrassing to listen to you. Oh, Ouch! You have to look more closely at what happened in the Clinton uh, Camp David discussions, you would know that what we have just said is absolutely wrong. There were all sorts of provisions and catches to the so-called proposal, and it wasn't rejected. The negotiations went on in Taba, and then there were elections in Israel, and Sharon came in, and everything got aborted. In the last eight years, we had a policy in which we have proclaimed an interest in peace. Uh, Condi Rice has traveled 16 times in 21 months, to the region proclaiming you must do this, you must do that, but the United States never exerted itself. So the issue that Obama faces, and that's the question that you raised, is are we going to be sitting there issuing condemnations, whether it's to Hamas or Israel or anybody else, or are we going to be seriously engaged in the peace process? That is the question. We have another block, and I'm very excited about that because I'm stunningly superficial. <laughs> Chief, I look forward to you educating me and the rest of America. And hold on, the rest of America and the rest of the foreign policy community who have said time and again, Arafat walked away from the best deal he could have got, and that the Palestinian well, opportunity to miss slogans. an opportunity. You're What's repeating that? slogans. You're repeating slogans. He did not right, walk well, away. What he said today. was, I'm going to take the proposal to all of the Arab capitals and see how they react, because the proposals were controversial. And then negotiations went on, even after Christmas, where Clinton and Arafat met, and they were going on in Taba in January, after Clinton was already leaving office, and then the process got aborted. It's, it's helpful to know a little bit about it's very, this. It's very oh, yeah. exciting, Chief, that you know things that the rest of the international community well, doesn't well, know. You're going to judge your knowledge by the sort of collective standards of 300 million people. Then don't be surprised well, that you're embarrassed. I actually, I'm not embarrassed. I read the New York Times and the Washington Post and but Foreign Affairs. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw those away, and any time I have a question, that, I'm going to call you up. Let me spell it to you. T-A-B-A, Taban Negotiations. Look them up. It will be helpful. I'll do that, and I'll throw out paper. And okay. foreign affairs okay. and everything okay. else I read. All right. I, I love that clip, man. I can't get enough of that. <laughs> okay. I need uh, the big new in here, man. He needs to regulate. We need to talk this out. If you missed it, one of my favorite parts towards the end, they're rolling the music like, okay, let's get out, get out of this, right? Let's go to the break, right? And uh, Brzezinski says, if you need to look it up, it's called Taba, T A B A. <laughs> he spells it out for him. All right. Now, yesterday on the Young Turks, we had one of the uh, Israeli negotiators at Taba, and he concurs with Brzezinski. So, now, the thing is, it, obviously, Scarborough is embarrassed there. And he's like, oh, the whole American community agrees. No, but he's stating facts. Now, do you disagree with the facts that the negotiations actually did continue, and that Arafat did take that offer to the other Arab governments, and that he did meet with Clinton afterwards? Or, I'm going to throw out the New York Times and the Washington Post, because I guess you know better, Chief. I guess he does, because he's giving you facts, and you don't know them. And that's what makes you stunningly superficial. That was an enormous elbow from the sky. Oh, it was just great.